morning, everyone, from a not so sunny day here in New Barnet. I hope you're all keeping well, and I'm really missing everyone and can't wait for us all to be back together again. As I said in the last devotional, um, the Psalms are my go-to place in the Bible when I'm not feeling 100%. And I'm finding that I'm not feeling 100% quite often these days. So I often find myself back in the Psalms. I'd like to read Psalm 23 with you today. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. This psalm is so familiar to us, isn't it? I think it's familiar to everyone, um, Christians and non-Christians alike. It's the only psalm that I think I can recite from memory. But as with all things that are so familiar, when I'm reading this psalm, I'm not really expecting for it to hold anything new for me particularly. I know it so well, and I know what it says, and I know what it means. But I was reading it the other day, and I was struck by something in this psalm that had, up to now, really passed me by. It's a little phrase in verse 3 that made me stop and think, what does this mean? And the phrase is, for his name's sake. Why does it say, he guides me along the right path for his name's sake? I decided to look up in the Bible where else the phrase is used and found that it comes up time and time again, both in the Old and the New Testament, for his name's sake, for God's sake or if the Lord is speaking, for my name's sake. If I say to someone, if you won't do it for your own sake, do it for my sake. This means do something for my benefit, for my advantage, for my good. This is important to me. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. God's interests here take priority over ours and is the basis for his actions. He's showing his character his character of love, kindness, and faithfulness. If I seek the way of Jesus, of living my life in accordance with God's word, God will be glorified. His name will be glorified. God is doing everything in our lives, in your lives and in mine, for his name's sake. He initiates everything. He begins a good work in us and will bring it to completion for his name's sake. It completely takes it all away from ourselves. We, you, I, are the beneficiaries of all that God does for us. But God is completing the work in us because of who he is, because he is goodness. He is love. In Psalm 109, verse 21, it says, But you, sovereign Lord, help me for your name's sake. Out of the goodness of your love, deliver me. Because your name is good, help me deliver me. Not because I myself, but not because of I myself, but because of you, Lord. This is quite a challenge for me because it means the way I do life, the way I live my life, reflects well or badly on God's name and character. Do everything for the Lord's sake to glorify God. Do I do that? If I'm seeking to live my life being guided by the Holy Spirit, I want and pray that my life, my actions, my words, my thoughts would be glorifying to God, will point people to God for his name's sake. But how does that help us today? In whatever we're doing today, I'm thinking, well, I'm stuck here at home. What can I do? What does God want from me today to glorify his name? At this time, I'm tending to concentrate on the little things within my environment, in how I love and care for my family to glorify God, in how I love and care for my church family to glorify God, in how I'm reaching out to people 
to glorify God. We might feel as though we've all been put on sleep mode during this time of lockdown, but God is definitely not on sleep mode, and therefore we also are not. God does not change, and he is still calling us and using us greatly for his name's sake. Let me finish by praying. Dear Lord, thank you for who you are, for your character, for your love, your faithfulness and your trustworthiness. Forgive us when we don't always proclaim your name and your character in the way we live our lives. Please help us to demonstrate your character in all our relationships and in all our interactions with people. Help us to do this for your name's sake. Amen. <laughs>